are about to get underway. It's the Chattanooga Football Club and the Michigan Stars Football Club. A great match in store for us here today, going end to end on this pitch and had a chance to catch up with both head coaches before the game. I really think goaltending, the keepers are gonna be a huge critical piece of how this contest shakes out. Last time these two clubs met, it was a clean sheet. And you know, there was a lot of close chances in that contest. If you go back and look at a recap of that match, you'll find lots of close scoring opportunities that were just barely stymied both ways. So that could be the story again here tonight, but I'm sure all of the forwards are looking to change the script and get this one between the sticks and find twine. Chattanooga Football Club just saw an 11 game unbeaten streak snapped just two days ago and fell a second time on the road in Syracuse against the Crunch. The team is looking to kick off a brand new winning streak here tonight against the Stars. CFC was uncharacteristically shut out during those back-to-back -back losses. Their first loss came in a 1-0 match against top-ranked in the West Division, Cal United. That was here at Finley Stadium on Wednesday, August 10th. CFC then traveled to New York to square off against the Pulse of Syracuse on Sunday. And in an uncharacteristic night where CFC played down a man for all but eight minutes, the club lost 3-0 on the road. Well, here we go in their blue kits. Volkswagen on the chest, it's CFC. And in white, it's the stars of the Michigan Stars Football Club. The fans are out in force here tonight. A good turnout considering the rocky weather earlier in the evening. And now the players and fans are just hoping it holds off. Stars tender has taken his net as CFC will break up the huddle and the clubs will get ready to go. sat here in Chattanooga. It's the scenic city and the motor city right now in Nisa soccer action. The stars will begin with the ball first. CFC coming up to bring a little pressure. Along the close touch line here, finessing this one and taken away by CFC. Robertson sent that one back to the keeper. Clearing kick up near midfield here and sent out a play right into the bench there. Dixon tried to get his head on that one, sent it upfield. Tossing this in from the touchline, Jacob Campbell. Campbell sends this one deep, fighting for the ball down in the corner. And this one, a rainbow arc out of play. Keeper gets this one started carefully. Dishing it off and CFC will get on the move. Looking for the tackle there. Finessed up along the touch line and sent back deep towards the Chattanooga Football Club net. In the corner and the Stars will just send this out of play. Tossing this one in. Good arc on it again, sent out a play. Now from the touch line in front of the bench.
Deep into the first minute now, CFC. Down into the far end of the middle third, this one sent back to the netminder of the Stars. Stars back in a defensive shell here, looking to clear this one away. Campbell went down into the corner. Zogos with it, sends it back to the keeper. Looked like he wanted to bomb that up the field there, instead just dishing it off. Now here's a laser pass, trying to break that up as Dixon. And pursued over the touchline and out of play on the far end of the pitch. In the middle third, a battle for the ball. Skeeters along the touchline. Today's broadcast being brought to you by Coca-Cola. Thank you for tuning in for Nisa Soccer, wherever you may be. A fun matchup here today between these two clubs. The Stars with some pressure here. Dishing this off back door, a howitzer, and this one just goes high. A good look. Kevin Gonzalez ready for that one, bear down. CFC roping this one. Long range up the field, the header. Battle for it here in midfield. Taking at it with Stitcher. CFC gets it right back. Looking for a connection on the sideline to the pitch there, and it again rolls out of play. Tossed in, battling right on the center line here. CFC with a quick move. This one staying just in play. The quick feet of Rodriguez. Now here's an opportunity, and the long shot is gathered up carefully by the minder there, the Michigan Stars, with their first big play of the night defensively. I spent some time with Coach before the contest. Trevor Banks, great things to say about this netminder. Tatenda, one of the key pieces of this club for the Stars. Tried to clear this one right here, and before it could reach the middle third, intercepted by CFC. Now here's a chance, centering pass, working with it, waiting for an opportunity. Quick look back to Rodriguez, and he sent this one right in front of Tatenda, who falls on it carefully. Two quick chances for CFC, nothing doing to this point. And Tatenda gathers this one up going into the fifth minute of play. Here's another look at that Rodriguez. Not sure where he was going with that. I'm not sure if he was trying to smoke that one on net or trying to center it up front. Stars send this one in play. Campbell battling for it with Rodriguez right there. Long pass over to Nagelstad. He goes down in the middle third. The Michigan Stars with the ball here. Working their way across the center line. CFC, two defenders right there. Rodriguez sends this one up into the stands. Dead ball here, will they sort this out? Back onto the pitch. Taking at this one, Dixon unable to maintain possession there. Now gathered up by the Stars. Lots of contact there as Dixon goes after that one again. Cerro with it, up across the SoCon logo. Now 
down near the center line. Taken away. Excellent intercept by the Stars. From the center circle, a pass to the close side. Bit of an opportunity here. Pass back door to Campbell. Campbell with a cross ball, and this one just a bit too much juice on that as it goes to the far side of the field and out of play. Into the seventh minute, still scoreless here, a clean sheet between Chattanooga Football Club and the Michigan Stars Football Club. Thanks for being with us for Nisa Soccer tonight. Lots of fun. Chattanooga FC, nine more league matches left in the season. The club is making a last push here leading up to the playoffs and hoping to remain at the top of the table in the East Division. If CFC remains one of the top two teams, it will earn a first round bye on October 22nd. Chattanooga FC would then enter the playoffs in the semifinals on the 29th or 30th of October. Here we go, crossing ball, and the header sends this one back up towards the middle third of the field. To the far side, rolling along the touch line here on the pitch. Dixon with it. Dixon, a long ball to Rodriguez. Nearly stolen away. Gathered up now by the Stars. Quick pass down inside, and CFC will work with the ball. Good look there by Yunchi. Here's a long ball down the field, a howitzer back to the keeper. Bit of a battle for the ball here as well, and now some trouble right down there near the center line. One star slow to rise, and he looks to be all right. Tenda came up to check on that one. Quick header here, ball is loose there. Taking at it and gathered by the keeper after the whistle sounds. Man down on the edge of the box, looks to be all right. Kevin Gonzalez goes over. Hoist Ward to his feet and he'll continue to play here. Gonzalez, the give here in the 10th minute. Still a clean sheet. Thanks for being with us tonight in the scenic city, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Long ball to the close side, a header here, and it just sneaks over the touchline in front of Rodriguez. Robertson inbounds this one. Battle for the ball, taken away by Campbell. Centering pass sent back to Zogos. Back and forth between Zogos and Tatenda. Quick move there, Campbell and Rodriguez collide as this goes out of play over the pitch. Back to the box and Tatenda. He'll send it to the far side of the field to play here, Michigan Stars. Looking to see if they can put something together here. CFC quickly takes it away. Down there in the middle third near the halfway line. Working to the close side now. Over the center circle. Sent back to Spielman. CFC. Working with pace here, Dixon. Gives it right back to his teammate. Now here's a rainbow ball down the field, sent right back by the Stars and over the touchline into the Nisa logo on the far side.
Well, whatever the, the shakeout of these last regular season games, nine more games to play for CFC here. The higher seed will host in the playoffs. Whoever that high seed is, it'll get a bye into the 29th or 30th of October. That club will have the privilege of hosting and the championship game will be on the 5th or the 6th of November at the home venue of the higher seed. Slow to rise, but looks to be all right here. Just outside of the wing there, looking down towards the box. The Stars gathered up on the arc. CFC bringing the pressure here to Tenda. Back in front of the net. Here's the quick give. Working back to the close side, Dixon with it. Dixon. Ball comes right back to him. Dixon again. Feed down low to Rodriguez. Rodriguez with a nifty move. Just inside of the touch line here. Looking towards the twine. Fires once, deflected away a second try. Tatenda with an incredible save. And the Stars clear that one away to neutralize the threat here in the 13th minute of play. Boy, the Michigan Stars with a big time defensive effort right there. Let's take another look at that one. Working along inside of the box, one shot deflected. And then who else? Nagelstad blasted one on net. Tatenda able to make the big time save right there on the rebound. You've heard it all already. Nagelstad is the man en route to another golden boot. He is the club record holder for goals in a season for CFC. And he is having another incredible year this season. Inbounding pass, quick feed, a little arc on that ball. Good look, splitting between two defenders here. Could be a bit of a chance, trying to look inside on the cross ball, and this one will find its way to the close side of the pitch and out of play. Michigan Stars so far in 2022, sitting seven points behind CFC in the East Division. The Stars in second place, and they enter the match at Finley on nearly two weeks of rest. They last played Cal United on August 6th. They lost that match 1-0 to the West Division leaders. The Michigan Stars have beaten four teams in league play this season, Flower City Union. They've beaten the Syracuse Pulse twice, as well as one win each over the Maryland Bobcats and Bay Cities FC. Their record on the air is 6-5-3. This is a big tilt for the Michigan Stars football club and CFC is taking it very seriously. The two top clubs in the East Division going head to head here in Chattanooga tonight, halfway through the 15th minute and CFC back with the ball. I want to thank you for joining us tonight's broadcast brought to you by Coca-Cola. Feet up the field here. Bit of a chance in the corner. Rodriguez looking with it, taking his time. Sends this back up to Cerro. Long ball redirecting and not quite in position there. A good look for CFC in the 16th minute. But even better luck for the Stars. You want to talk about some talent. These two rosters are loaded with excellent football players. Lots of fun to be here for this contest tonight. And it's really hard to get perspective from in the stands or the broadcast booth of just how athletic 
these guys are. You get down on the field, on the turf, on the pitch with these guys, incredible athleticism. The ability to maneuver with the ball, unparalleled. From the close side, a long feed. A little laser pass right there, split between a few defenders before it's taken away by CFC. Kicking this down to the touchline. Robertson trying to avoid the tackle with a bit of a turn there. Has it taken away, but the last to touch it, the Michigan Stars. He'll get it right back. Dixon with it, sends it back to the keeper. Gonzalez up along the far touchline now. Long feed back towards the center of the field here. Looked like he wanted to take it down into the center circle from the halfway line. Now down into the far wing, and this one will skeeter out of play. Behind the visit, Chattanooga banner. Tatenda, a couple of big saves already here tonight, looking to continue his electric performance. We're already into the 18th minute. Still a clean sheet. Dixon comes up for the header. Quick pass towards the close side, battling for the ball here. Campbell with it. Campbell centers this one up. MSFC working with it quickly here. Loose ball for just a moment, and this one clatters around before it is greeted by the keeper. Kevin Gonzalez comes way out into the box to gather that one and get it back to the CFC. Good heads up play by Gonzalez there. He could see that was not really going in favor of either club at the moment, and he was gonna be the one in danger because of it. Heads up play, comes out, gathers the ball and clears it quickly. From the center line, CFC headed back into the attacking end of the field here. Standing in midfield, Sarah with it. Michigan Stars bringing heavy defensive pressure here, and that was one of the keys of this game, getting around that parked bus. They are sticking to that. Back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez way outside of the box there. Chattanooga. Long feed up along the far touch line, just inside of the pitch here. Trying to buy some space. Now a bit of a chance. Coming with great pace and trying to redirect that one towards Tatenda. The tackle there taking down the CFC attacker. Looked like a good chance for Nagelstad, but unable to break free. Headed back to the offensive end. Just outside of the box here, feeling the pressure, two defenders boxing him out. Michigan Stars back at a defensive shell. Dixon with it. Dixon ladled this one off, and CFC will just completely reset here. Into the 21st minute now. Long feed. Bit of a good chance here for CFC. Pass to the close side, and a nifty turn, but a stoppage comes from the close side. 
Well, I'll tell you, if you are local to Chattanooga, Tennessee, or the local area here in Southeast Tennessee, absolutely worth coming out to see a match in person. The environment here, an absolute blast. I love the band playing the entire duration of the contest. Tons of fans out here tonight in Finley Stadium, and it's a beautiful night for football. You know, it, it rained very hard a couple of hours ago, but usually Finley Stadium, one of the most beautiful places to watch a sporting event in America. To tend to having some sort of equipment issue, maybe just needing to relace his boot there. Into the 22nd minute, and he has been excellent. Lots of pressure on him, a couple of different attack scenarios where the defense helped him out there in the box, but twice he made big saves early on in this contest. That's the kind of thing you want to see if you're an offensive player. You want to see pressure coming on the opposing defense, creating havoc early and getting the keeper nervous. Tatenda is a true professional, true pro, looks unshaken to this point and made two 10-bell saves. Pretty unbelievable. He's good to go and we'll get back at it here on the pitch inside of Finley Stadium. A big boot here from Tatenda. Rod Underwood might have had to duck out of the way for that one. Inbounding pass taken at here quickly by the Stars. Zogos sends that one to the far side. Yunchi trying to gather it, battling with two CFC players there. Yunchi back to Dixon. Dixon going to the far side. Nifty slide tackle there. Dixon trying to send it to the close side. Stars gather this one right near the center line. Trying to reset, get geared up for an attack. Tatenda. Only keeps it for a moment. MSFC down back into the middle third of the field. And Rodriguez will just clear this one over the touch line. Stripped away quickly from Campbell. He'll now send it back into play. Right in front of his own bench there. Quick header, Dixon after it. Down in front of the CFC box. Chattanooga looking to get back to work. The Stars gearing up for a rainbow pass down to the wing and CFC unable to keep that in play. No wait. That one just barely kept on the pitch here before it's sent out into the opposing stands. CFC will keep the football. Inbounding pass to Cerro. Cerro feeling the heat. Still a clean sheet here in the scenic city. In the 26th minute of play, the Motor City has sent down the Michigan Stars to do battle with the Chattanooga Football Club. A fun one here tonight. Trying to center this one up now on the wing. Looking, waiting, biding his time. Looking out front, and this one deflected away. Another nice slide tackle. Great defensive effort by the Stars right there. 
They'll come back into their defensive shell here. CFC going to get a Chick-fil-A corner kick right here. Into the 27th minute, taking his time with it. Here we go. Crossing ball and headed away immediately. Excellent defensive play by MSFC right there. Standing in the wings, saw that coming. In great position to make the play and executes perfectly. CFC centering this one back up to Spielman. Spielman to Gonzalez. Back and forth they go, trying to get set for their next offensive attack here. Rodriguez feeling the heat right there as Campbell works to box him out, wrestle the ball away from him. Kick will come from in front of the Stars bench here in the 28th minute. Big high rainbow ball here coming down just outside of the box, a quick header. And the signal from the far side of the pitch. Into the 28th minute of play now here. That's Gonzalez who will get things started again. Battle for the ball, it's loose. Skying across the field, taken at and gathered momentarily there by both teams before finally a stoppage. Ian Cerro down in the middle third. He is quick to rise and looks to be fine. At the halftime break, be sure to stay with us here. Excellent Nisa soccer, but we'll also have Jennifer Fritz join us in the booth for a quick conversation regarding the Chattanooga Food Bank. And I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. Spielman with it, sends it back to Gonzalez. MSFC bringing the pressure right here. Back to Spielman. And now into the 30th minute of play, still a clean sheet here inside of Finley Stadium. Tatenda takes this one. A Little bit of heat there. Skies it over to Campbell. Campbell along the touchline. Long ball up the field to Gonzalez. Each home game of the season features a cause of the night where CFC recognizes a community organization and makes a donation of tickets sold to further their work. And I've got to say, this football club does an excellent job of recognizing wonderful organizations right here in our community, elevating them, giving them a platform, and bringing them into the eye of the public. That's so important to do in this day and age, and what an excellent way to use sports to connect people and to help people. Tonight's cause of the night is the Chattanooga Area Food Bank. Summer and back to school are a super important time of year for the food bank as the need of the community increases before the rush of holiday donations pour in. So you can lend a hand and learn more by visiting their website right now at chatfoodbank.org. C-H-A-T-T foodbank.org. Trouble with it here. Dixon gets it right back. Back and forth they go, Cerro fed it over to Dixon, and he has it taken away by Campbell. Campbell with a quick feed up the field, working with it with great pace, Marich. Marich tripped up and goes down hard on the pitch. Competing for the football there. 
and some words exchanged. Spielman and Marich. Getting into a bit of extracurricular activity. Now we'll settle down and talk this out. Emotions are high here in the scenic city. This is a big time matchup for these two clubs. The top two teams in the East. It was a clean sheet last time they met. Both are looking to get back on track. The Michigan Stars enjoying the advantage of a two week break since their last contest. CFC had an 11 game unbeaten streak snapped with two losses in a row. They're looking to get back in the swing of things. You can imagine they want to win a little extra bad here tonight. Boy, good chance there broken up by CFC defensively and immediately a stoppage. Gathering on the arc here. This could be a game changer for the Michigan Stars. Gonzalez back in front of the twine. The box is filled in the 33rd minute. The approach, the delivery, a howitzer, and this one lands on top of the netting. Gonzalez punches his clutch ticket and stood tall right there. We remain with a clean sheet entering minute 34. Out of the box, CFC coming up the field. Lots of pressure here. The Stars may be changing that park the bus tactic, looking a little more aggressive and a little less defensive. Along the halfway line, a long feed up the field, hotly contested. Keeping it in the touch line. And now the stoppage. Long feet up the field, couple of lucky bounces right there. Now to the close side, and the whistle comes. CFC inside of the touch line. Going to inbound this one again. From the close side with it. Chattanooga looking into the box and this one just sent out a play cleanly. Marich not having that. CFC going to get another chance with it here. Looking, waiting, biding his time. One turn, now a chance sent back inside, and this one deflected away. Another shot. Ricochets back to CFC. Tatenda goes up and gathers this one in the air. Not really a scoring threat, but Tatenda, another big defensive play, coming out to greet the ball, neutralize any more chances for Chattanooga to place a shot on net. He continues to have an impressive evening. Big kick here, skying down the field. Both programs taking at it. This 
Cerno the first to have a chance to work with the ball. Long feet up the pitch, taken away by MSFC. CFC can't run that one down. Inbounding pass comes quickly. Robertson feeling the heat. Dixon to the close side. Robertson won't keep it for long. Still scoreless now in the 37th minute of play here from inside of Finley Stadium and maybe a bit of a strategy change. MSFC bringing a bit more pressure here in the later portion of this first half of action. Thank you for being with us for Nisa Soccer here tonight. Gabriel Shry. Joined by an incredible crew of local broadcast talents here in the box. Back and forth along the touchline. Long feed, skying this up the pitch and unable to keep that in play. A bit of a collision. Of course, the home crowd calling for the call there, not going to get it. A great defensive play. Saro up, bringing the heat a little bit on Tatenda there. Tatenda will just dish it off to the close side. Zogo sends it right back to him. And now Zogos will clear this one. A long lead ball up the pitch here. Centering pass just outside of the box. A trio of defenders there breaking up this chance. That was Yunchi working with the ball. Could have been another chance right there, firing a shot. This one deflected away off of the leg of Spielman. CFC gathers it. Now down into the center portion of the pitch, stolen back by MSFC. Into the 39th minute. The fans letting the bubbles fly here in Finley Stadium. Mentioned it a few moments ago, but I can't stress enough, if you've not been out here for a sporting event, let alone Chattanooga FC, definitely need to come visit Finley Stadium, one of the most beautiful venues I've ever been to. And look at all the fun they're having. Inbounding ball, MSFC. Had the cross right there. To tend to way up to greet this one. The intercept made. Dixon sends this back to Robertson. Long feed up the field, just kept inside of the touchline and taken away by Zogos. Zogos to Tatenda. Tatenda with a howitzer and a collision there as both CFC and MSFC battling to go after the soccer ball. And the card here. As Frank is contesting the decision, Still contesting that decision, but he'll get the warning. That's Alejandre Frank. And the stoppage will come to its conclusion there. Into the 41st minute here, still a clean sheet. Another long ball just outside of the box, Chattanooga. Working with it, there is a blast. This will go up onto the concourse and into one of the food trucks back there.
to Tenda with the arc up across the pitch. A quick header and CFC gonna be the first to get after this one. Looks like Dixon not up off of the pitch. He had a bit of a collision there. Medical staff will come out onto the field. Looks to be all right following that collision. And he'll come off of the pitch. Glad to see he's all right in a, a friendly handshake there. After that collision with Matthew Constant, Constant comes out, wishes him well. He'll get a bit of a break and we'll get back underway. Looks like Alex McGrath coming on to take his place on the pitch here in the 43rd minute. Trying to work with that one, McGrath with it here. Has Robertson on the close side, just over the touch line. Gonzalez. Keeps this working as Chattanooga resets a bit here. MSFC up bringing the pressure. CFC along the far end. Taking their time down in the middle third, trying to get this started correctly. Two defenders there, won't work with it any further. Saro kicks it back. Robertson. The fans begin to chant Chattanooga here. Long feet up the pitch, now outside onto the wing. Working with it. Looking deep in the box there and this one cleared away by the Stars. Late in the 44th minute, Chattanooga with it. Long feed looking for the header and Tatenda with another great grab as he rainbows this one up the pitch. Tatenda putting together a bit of a highlight reel here tonight as he makes big save after big save down there between the sticks for the Michigan Stars Football Club. Added time here. We're into it. Three minutes left to go in this first half of action here inside of Finley Stadium. Thanks for being with us for Nisa Soccer here tonight. MSFC inbounding this one, taking at it. CFC can't gather possession. The Stars, two helpers there, sending this one down along the back end of the pitch. Gonzalez will quickly send this up the field. He was looking for Damian Rodriguez there, just couldn't hook up with him. Already into the second minute of added time here. Here's another long ball down into the wing. This one stays in play. Looking for some help inside. One quick turn and this one sent back away by the Stars there defensively inside of the box. Tatenda trying to get his teammates fired up as they are gathered down there deep. Just over a minute left to go here in added time. Looking with it, biding his time as Ward. Contention for the ball, gets a little heated there. Too much contact. 
CFC sees one man go to the pitch. Cerro and Yunchi battling for the ball. Cerro goes down hard. So CFC will get another chance. Still out beyond the wing. Talking strategy here. Tatenda calling to his teammates, calling out for some help. The fake flipping this one over the defender there. CFC, time winding here and added time in this first half. Just outside of the box with it, that's McGrath who came in on the substitution. Battling in the face of great pressure, taken away. The Stars trying to burn up some clock. And that'll do it. Four added time here inside of Finley Stadium and the first half of action. It's a clean sheet, still scoreless between the Michigan Stars Football Club and Chattanooga Football Club. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with halftime analysis and more in just a moment with more NISA soccer. Welcome back here to Finlay Stadium, NISA soccer. One half is in the books, one half left to tackle here. Two fantastic clubs duking it out. It's the Chattanooga Football Club and the Michigan Stars Football Club. We've still got a clean sheet, scoreless. And these teams met back in late June, June 25th, I believe. That contest was also here in Finley Stadium and also ended scoreless. These are the two top programs in the East Division, duking it out here to see if one of them can come away with a big W. Long clear here. CFC's Dixon centers it back up to a teammate. Quick ball to the close side here. Centered back up. CFC working inside of the touchline. That was McGrath who gave it off. Now an arc up the field, down to the end of the pitch here. Looking inside, this one redirected and deflected away by the Michigan Stars. Ding with it. Ding sends it back across. This one skeeters across the center circle. CFC looking to build some space here. Firmino with it. Gave it off quickly. Stars sending it back to Tatenda, who is feeling the heat right there. Sends this one high up into the air, down towards the stands. Tonight, the Scenic City hosting the Motor City, duking it out here inside of Finley Stadium. Thank you for being with us wherever you may be. I'm Gabriel Shry, excellent broadcast crew here with me tonight. True pros. CFC trying to battle this into the box, sending it back out along the touchline to McGrath. Ward looks to the far side, now to Dixon. Right back to Ward, sends it up to the wing. A little too much contact there and the whistle will sound. Chattanooga FC currently standing at 9-3-3, three three, good for a total of 30 points. The Michigan Stars right behind them, second in the East Division, resting at 6-5-3, good for 23 total points.
McGrath standing back along the touchline there. Taylor Gray gets this one set and started. And this one goes right back out of play. Off of the pitch, off the front of the stands. Now they'll reset and regather. MSFC playing this one aggressively. Looking inside for the cross here, centering it up. Just on the corner of the box. Two quick turns, gives it off. Into the 49th minute of play now here in Finlay Stadium. Thank you for being with us. Just on top of the touchline, looking to go on the attack now. This one clatters all around off a couple of defenders. CFC takes that in and regathers back over to Dixon. So far, the star of the game, Tatenda, for making so many saves. From between the sticks, he has been electric here. Going into minute 50. Here he is getting this one started for the Stars. Nagelstad back after this one. Nifty turn right there before giving this one off. Bit of a collision there, that's clean, we'll keep going. CFC with possession, down along the far side. Into the edge of the box here, sent up onto the wing. One quick fake, some nifty footwork there. And this one will roll and squelch across the touch line and out of play. CFC had an 11 game unbeaten streak snapped just days ago and fell a second time on the road in Syracuse. Chattanooga looking to get things back on track and kick off a brand new winning streak starting here tonight against the Michigan Stars Football Club. Stars with the ball right now. Working through midfield up along the touchline. Bit of an opportunity here. This one sails high and wide. Looking for the cross right there and just couldn't put it on the mark. Keeper comes to the close side for Chattanooga. On the far side, over the center line. CFC loses the ball right off the boot of Tatenda here, and now arced across the field. The header, this one will stay in the air. Competing for it, and the whistle will sound. Just inside of the middle third there. CFC's McGrath standing back alongside the ball here. Late in the 52nd minute. Chattanooga gonna get a chance with this one. Hello, Spider. Here we go, CFC to the close side. Sent back out. MSFC bunched up there in a defensive shell. Now they'll break out and come after the ball. Working along the edge of the box. Turning with it. 
sent to the close side. Bit of a chance here. Gets it stripped away on a bit of a nutmeg. And a big collision as the whistle will sound. We'll get some stoppage. Tatendo will get this thing back underway. Just as we're crossing into the 54th minute of action here in Chattanooga. This one, a rainbow ball up the field, the header by Dixon, and again, the whistle will sound. This time down on the east end of the stadium here. I can't believe how lucky we are. Just a couple of hours ago, I think most of us thought the match might be called off due to weather. Checking the radar, looked like rain. It was pouring for about a half an hour. And here we are, all it did was cool it off. It's nice outside, it's a beautiful evening for soccer. And the fans were out in full force. I was worried when they started showing up we'd have a light crowd, but no. Great attendance here tonight. MSFC sending this one inside. Stripped away by Dixon, now McGrath. Looking for the clear up the field. Tatenda comes way out to greet this one. Gives it off to a teammate there. In the middle third, just over the center line, the Stars gather this. Here we go, a bit of an attack, sending this one towards the net. And the cross is off the mark there. Just a bit too much juice on that one. Gonzalez, not much to say about that one, can't complain. CFC stripped it away momentarily, immediately regathered by the Stars. Bit of a jam there. Now the Stars working with it inside of the box. CFC somehow comes away with this one. They'll clear it into the middle third of the field here before a big tackle and perhaps a bit too much contact as the card is flashed down there. Here in the 56th minute. Alexander's Laskov, Colby Reed, Adam Desall, and Kyle Johnston are officials here tonight. Referees doing an excellent job keeping this match in line. Early on, we saw emotions running high. Obviously, these two clubs both really want this win. I mean, you want to win every game in sports, very obviously, but. Two weeks off for the Michigan Stars Football Club. They're back from that long break. They're looking to get some momentum going in their favor. And an 11 game unbeaten streak uncharacteristically snapped. And a pair of shutouts for the Chattanooga Football Club. Both clubs are looking to get things righted here, get the ship headed back in the proper direction. This one loose in the box. Stars first to it. Tatenda shuts down any chance for the CFC there. Steven Yuchi coming off. Elias McLeod onto the field for the Michigan Stars Football Club here in the 58th minute. Andres Chalbon also coming on. Kyle Nelson. 
Head to the bench for MSFC. Gonna get some water and a break. It is much cooler outside than it was earlier today, thanks to that rain, as I mentioned a moment ago. But when it comes to a sport with as much cardiovascular as soccer, you can never, never get it quite cool enough. That's still a lot of wear and tear, a lot of endurance needed to keep going the full 90 minutes. Here we go, MSFC, a bit of an opportunity here. Down along the wing, sent back into the box and cleared away by CFC defensively. Gonzalez calling out to his teammates here. The inbound coming from along the touchline just outside of the wing. SFC looking with it, biding their time. Here we go, big high ball, headed away right away by Gray. Now the speed of CFC on the far side there. Sending this one back towards the twine and Tatenda, a big heads up play. Both ways on that one, CFC putting that one between the sticks. Tatenda was way out to greet the attacker there. He's able to get back in front of the net and stop that one. Steven Yuchi there goes down to the pitch and the whistle will sound. Now into the 60th minute of action here in Finley Stadium. Tonight's broadcast being brought to you by Coca-Cola. Had a Coca-Cola on the way over here. The header there was on track, but Gonzalez saw that coming. Went out, grabbed that one up. Well, now clear to the close side. McGrath centers this back up. Down the field, this one will skeeter over the touchline and out of play. Still a clean sheet here in the 61st minute inside of Finley Stadium. Thanks for being with us here for Nice's Soccer. CFC just outside of the box, kicks it to the close side. Centering pass, and this one deflected away by the Stars right there. Saw that coming. Gathered the ball up and able to clear it quickly. Jacob Campbell, the one to make the play there for MSFC. Quickly inbounded on the close side. again to McGrath. Goes right back to him. Ward with a turn. Tries to center this, deflected away by the Stars and now clear. Big rainbow ball. The header looking to send CFC right back in the right direction. Stars not having it. Here's the long ball. Gonzalez might need some help. The cross and the defender gets in there, makes the breakup on that pass. Good play defensively. Now here's an opportunity on the other end of the field. Gray with it, turning. There's a move, fires, and this one just wide left comes off of the twine right there. Tatendo was in position to make the play. 
but he has to be relieved, not needing to jump after that one. We'll take another look at that opportunity right here. Boy, made a great turn. Tatenda was settled just inside of the stick there, though. I'm not sure if he could have gotten it past him, even if it was on the mark. Tatenda has made a number of show-stopping staves already here tonight. CFC will again get the ball and work with it here. This one redirected. Just over the middle third, centering pass into Tenda is there to gather that one away. Not happy with something there. He'll get us back underway. Finley Stadium, also the home of the Mox. Well, here we go. A bit of a chance for Chattanooga Football Club. Backdoor pass. This one just wide left. Boy, and Gray had a chance right there to Tenda on skates, watching out for that ball. Let's take another look at that chance. Gray now two in just the last couple of minutes. Trying to sneak that in on the low front side there, right underneath of Tatenda, unable to bury that one. CFC again gathers the football. Working down to the west end of the pitch here as this one is directed over the touchline and out of play. Chattanooga Football Club working this one all around. Now crossing the center line with it. Rainbow ball up along the touch line on the far side. This one directed away and into the stands by the Stars right there. Good defensive effort. I believe that's again Campbell going after that one here in the 66th minute. Finley Stadium also home to the Mox and Chattanooga Football Club tonight has welcomed students from the University of Tennessee Chattanooga, coaches and players on hand. They're signing autographs on the concourse and meeting up with fans and tons of students here from UTC tonight. You love to see it, the community out in full force. Chattanooga FC trying to work that one down towards the box, stripped away by MSFC. Good defensive effort right there. Centering pass. Now through midfield. Gonzalez bearing down. Could be a chance for the Stars as this one is sent out of play along the back of the pitch. Great breakup right there defensively. Cerro, the man on the far side, running that down. Michigan Stars getting ready. C 
CFC back in a defensive shell here. This one set inside on the cross, the header towards the twine and just goes over the pipes. Boy, Gonzalez takes a breath of relief right there. Getting a bit of help right out front. Take another look at that one right here. From the far side, the cross and the header looked good. But a second deflection sent that out of play. Yunchi the man trying to put that one back inside of the pipes right there. Gonzalez getting a little help. Into the 69th minute of play here now in Finley Stadium between the Chattanooga Football Club and the Michigan Stars Football Club. James in for Cerro here in the 70th minute. Tenda comes out to greet it. Sending that one out of play, not going to take any chances. CFC with a long ball. This one is wide. Tenda kicks this one to the far side. Getting underway with it, the Stars. Down on the center line, jostling for position here. CFC able to strip that away, keeping it just on the pitch on the far side. On the back end of the midfield, Chattanooga Football Club. Trying to set something up here. there and some trouble. Martinez turns. Unable to regather. CFC loses this to the Michigan Stars. Field there trying to connect. Far down the pitch, Stars have this deflected away by CFC. We do have a man down. Back where that clear originated. Hopefully he's all right.
Michigan Stars looking to get set here to Tenda. Way up out of the pipes. Into the 74th minute, MSFC sends it close side. Just along the touchline as Gray is battling to strip this one away. Goes out of play, immediately sent back in. Long ball, looking for a cross right there. Too much juice on it. Fighting for it along the wing. Stars, keep this one on the pitch. Looking for another cross, this time headed away by CFC. Regathered by Michigan. Sent back up into the midfield. Stars working with it. Bit of a chance here. Keeping it on the pitch. The cross and the header. This one way up high. Gonzalez will gather that and clear it away as we go into the 75th minute of play here inside of Finley Stadium. Fantastic Nisa soccer action here tonight. Still a clean sheet, scoreless between these two clubs. Long ball taken at, somehow gathered away by CFC right there. Set to the back side, just along the touch line. One turn, a second one, then passed away to Gray. Gray unable to hook up with a CFC teammate right there. This one comes off the pitch. Michigan Stars going to send this back into play. Field of play. CFC gathers this one up. Loose inside of the touch line. Here's a chance. Gray with it. Gray, the cross, and Tatenda gathers that one as well. I think he was looking back door on that one. Tatenda saw it coming, came out, greeted the ball with both arms, and clears that one for MSFC. Well, we're entering the late stages of tonight's contest here between the Michigan Stars and Chattanooga Football Club. Still a clean sheet as Gonzalez gathers that one up as well. Dixon to the close side of the pitch, CFC. Fed that inside, the quick turn, this one. Taken away by Michigan. Battle for it in midfield. Maybe a little too much grabbing right there as the crowd contests. And CFC will get this one right back. Along the far end of the pitch with it. Chattanooga looking inside, could be a chance here. Trying to center that up, comes off the side of the net. Slow to rise, going back down to the pitch is Rodriguez. Hopefully he's all right. Never want to speculate about an injury. We'll wait, see what the verdict is here. Sorry. 
He's up and moving. Looks like they're gonna take him off and work with him. Here we go, eat more chicken. It's a Chick-fil-A corner kick right here. Here's a big high ball on the cross looking inside. Too much juice on it, and it just slips out the back side there as the Michigan Stars were able to clear that one. Excellent defensive play. Gonzalez back to get CFC. Back on track here. Closing in on the 80th minute of play here inside of Finley Stadium. SFC keeping this one headed the direction they're looking for here offensively. Getting set long pass to the close side, just over the touch line there. Now looking on the cross, the header of this one, just wide, not quite where he was looking to go with that. Gonzalez will take that one. Quick give, CFC getting to work. Chattanooga, unable to maintain possession of that one, they'll regather quickly. in here for Rodriguez. Portway already through minute 81. MSFC battling this away from CFC. Gonzalez way out to gather this one. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen this contest end in a clean sheet, even this year, June 25th. These two clubs met right here in the scenic city. Raced to a scoreless finish. Gray with a big move there. Could be a chance, sending it inside. The centering pass deflected away. Excellent defensive effort by the Stars. there, Chattanooga Football Club from the close side with it. Long ball, this one, just on the touch line there. Trying to buy some space, unable to do so. CFC picking up pace a bit here offensively. Time starting to dwindle in this contest. We're into the 83rd minute. This one back and forth just outside of the box. CFC looking for a cross right there, stripped away by MSFC and sent back out into the midfield zone. Gonzalez will send this one back to one of his Chattanooga teammates. Long 
long ball along the touchline, just barely kept in play. Great racing after it as this one taken at and sent out of play by MSFC. CFC gets this going again right away. Gray again with it. Along the wing here, trying to fight his way inside of the box. A lot of contact right there. We'll keep it moving. This one skeeters over the touch line and off of the pitch. Back to work right away. Here we go, a bit of a chance here for CFC. Two defenders right there. Sends it across along the edge of the box. Working with it. This shot deflected away defensively and it'll go up the tunnel off of the field. Sent into play from the corner. Looking with the Chattanooga Football Club. Centering this one back up. Long ball down there into the fray in the box. Tatenda comes out and greets this one. Tatenda making a big effort between the sticks here tonight for MSFC. Huge arc down the field, and the header leaves this one loose. Stars gather it up quickly. This one skeeters just over the touch line and out of play. We'll get a quick change here for the Stars. Sedenovich coming on. Leon Maric coming off of the pitch here for the Stars. Gray takes this one for CFC. Back to Dixon, the collision and the whistle right away there in the midfield. CFC nearly has this stripped away by MSFC right there. Whistle again sounds. We are closing in on the 87th minute of play here from inside of Finley Stadium. Thanks for being with us here tonight for Nisa Soccer. And a yellow card right there assessed against number 12 of the Michigan Stars, Jacob Campbell. Here in the late stages, CFC on the attacking end. Trying to work this one inside and another collision just inside of the box right there. Next up for Chattanooga Football Club, the Maryland Bobcats Football Club. That's going to be on Saturday the 27th. Then they'll be back here in Finley on Wednesday, August 31st against Metro Louisville. Fans getting into this one here in the late stages of this contest. Still a clean sheet. We are here in minute 88. CFC long ball up the field. Gray racing to it. Deflected away by MSFC. Gray takes the inbound. Feeds it right back to a teammate. CFC with it. Trying to buy some space here. Defender there grabbing at Gray and the crowd erupts as the whistle will sound.
pleading his case there, saying he's not sure what they're talking about. Shemilev hails from Russia. Into the 89th minute now as they sort this out down there along the touch line at the edge of the pitch. Here we go. Strategy is set for Chattanooga Football Club. Gray and McGrath right there. McGrath leaves that one on the fake. Now the cross looking for it. Tatenda goes up and snags that one again. Huge play by the keeper right there. Four minutes of added time here. We are into the 90th minute, the first of added time. Ball skying back towards midfield, battling for it here. Michigan Stars to the far side. Long ball, Gonzalez comes way out to greet this, batting it up into the air. Big defensive play right there by the goalkeeper. Michigan Stars regather. Gonzalez retreats between the sticks and gets some help from a teammate down there in the corner on the wing. Again, the Stars. Quick feet, close side. Looking for a cross here, too much juice on it as we are into minute 91. This will be our second minute of added time here. CFC, quick feed, close side. Nearly stripped away by MSFC right there. Heads up play defensively by the Stars. McGrath, long ball picked off. Michigan wants to clear this one away down into midfield. Now a bit of a chance. Defensive pressure coming. This one will just skeeter out of play on the back end of the pitch there. more chicken. It's a Chick-fil-A corner kick here in minute 92 for the Michigan Stars football club. Long ball to cross. The header, this one loose down in front, battling for it, and Chattanooga Football Club able to clear that one. Now a long feed to the close side to Gray. Lots of green pitch here for him to work with. Gray looking back side. Tatenda wanted to come out and greet that. CFC maintains possession. This one deflected away by MSFC. Deep into minute 92, about 80 seconds left here. CFC, the inbound on the far touch line. Chattanooga working with it. Back up towards midfield, centering this one. Trying to buy some time, work on their strategy. CFC back to Dixon. Dixon with a nifty move. Another one. The turn right there, centering pass, and Tatenda was ready for it. Boy, what a save. Here in the 93rd minute, Tatenda clears this one. From midfield, just moments left here for Chattanooga. Chattanooga with it. This one skeeters along the pitch and out of play. Passing it back in, battling through a swarm of defenders there 
MSFC strips this away. Long feet up the field and CFC back down there near the center line. That'll do it. Our added time has expired. Again, a clean sheet between the stars of MSFC and CFC. A fantastic match, nothing to be ashamed of here. Two excellent defensive games and two goalkeepers who have something to write home about. What a fun contest here of Nisa Soccer. Thanks so much for being with us here today for this one.